Hello everyone. I hope and pray that you're well. Uh, in light of uh, Trinity Sunday yesterday, I came across this little quote from uh, Rick Warren. He writes, we are created for community, fashioned for fellowship, and formed for a family. And none of us can fulfill God's purposes by ourselves. Uh, so I was thinking about that. This past weekend, I uh, did a few things that I haven't done in a very long time um, and they connect with community um, and first of all no it wasn't uh, shaving although certainly I did that for the first time in a while uh, no one of the things that we did for the first time in a in a long time uh, was we had people over at our house in our backyard uh, around the fire and as we were getting ready, Elle and I said to each other, like, how do we even do this? Uh, how do we have people over? It's, uh, it's been so long, we forgot kind of how to host people. Uh, of course, we, in the end, of, of course, remembered uh, how to do so. And it was a great kind of COVID safe fellowship. Uh, and that was good. And the other thing is, uh, I'm standing here on the field at, uh, at Caledonia. And uh, I played Ultimate here on, on yesterday, on Sunday. And uh, for probably a dozen years, I've been playing Ultimate with the same uh, group of people. Uh, but we haven't been playing uh, during these last months of COVID. And uh, BC's reopening plan last week uh, allowed for outdoor sports again. And so on Sunday afternoon, 16 of us showed up to play, uh, which is a lot more than usual. Uh, and uh, the ultimate crowd is kind of a cross-section from our community. Um, I'm certainly usually the oldest, um, but the ultimate crowd has, you know, uh, one other person from our church usually, uh, and a few others from time to time. But everybody that came was just excited to join together for ultimate. And the conversation during and especially after and before uh, was nonstop as people kind of got caught up with each other uh, and each other's lives. And, and what it reminded me was that everyone, everyone is created for community. Everyone is fashioned for fellowship. Uh, everybody is formed for family. And certainly gathering for worship is one very important th way that Christians should gather. And, and we long to do so and we will do, do so soon. Uh, but there are so many other ways that show that fellowship is important, not just to Christians, but to humans, humans all created in the image of our triune God. Trinity Sunday reminded us of the strength of fellowship between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, right? That our three-in-one God is the one who created us. And uh, he created us in God's image for community. Interesting that Jesus prays in John 17, I pray that they will all be one just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. Christians don't have the, the market cornered on fellowship, right? I and mean, everybody longs for it. I mean, even if... Uh, and I say this carefully, even if they don't trace the desire uh, for fellowship, even if they don't trace that desire back to their creator. But as Christians, I think we have this understanding of, of what that longing for fellowship points us toward, right? This longing for community points us to home, points us to God, right? And, and then also the fact that, that this human community uh, is also a blessing that God gives us in order to experience God's very presence through each other in community here on earth. I mean, none of us can fulfill God's purposes by ourselves. And so maybe my prayer this day, this week, is that you might revel uh, in fellowship. You might revel in community. Uh, and where that community is broken, that you would find it and seek it out, that you would create it, that you would foster it, that you would share it, um, and that you would reconcile it. And in so doing, that you and I would reflect our God, uh, the Holy Trinity. The peace of Christ 
be with you all.